In criminology, the positivist school has attempted to find scientific objectivity for the measurement and quantification of criminal behavior. As the scientific method became the major paradigm in the search for knowledge, the classical school's social philosophy was replaced by the quest for scientific laws that would be discovered by experts. It is divided into biological, psychological and social. Biological positivism If Charles Darwin's theory of evolution was scientific as applied to animals, the same approach should be applied to man as an animal. Topic: <laughs> Physical characteristics. Historically, medicine became interested in the problem of crime, producing studies of physiognomy. See Johann Kaspar Lavater and Franz Joseph Gall and the science of phrenology which linked attributes of the mind to the shape of the brain as revealed through the skull. These theories were popular because they absolved society and any failures of its government of responsibility for criminal behavior. The problem lay in the propensities of individual offenders who were biologically distinguishable from law-abiding citizens. This theme was amplified by the Italian school and through the writings of Cesare Lombroso see Luomo Delinquente, The Criminal Man and Anthropological Criminology which identified physical characteristics associated with degeneracy demonstrating that criminals were atavistic throwbacks to an earlier evolutionary form. Charles Goring failed to corroborate the characteristics but did find criminals shorter, lighter and less intelligent, i.e. he found criminality to be normal, rather than Pathological. C.F. The work of Hooten found evidence of biological inferiority. William Sheldon identified three basic body or somatotypes, i.e., endomorphs, mesomorphs, and ectomorphs, and introduced a scale to measure where each individual was placed. He concluded that delinquents tended to mesomorphy. Modern research might link physical size and athleticism and aggression because physically stronger people have the capacity to use violence with less chance of being hurt in any retaliation. Otherwise, such early research is no longer considered valid. The development of genetics has produced another potential inherent cause of criminality, with chromosome and other genetic factors variously identified as significant to select heredity rather than environment as the cause of crime see, nature versus nurture. However, the evidence from family, twin, and adoption studies shows no conclusive empirical evidence to prefer either cause. Topic. Intelligence. There are a number of reputable studies that demonstrate a link between lower intelligence and criminality. But the evidence is equivocal because studies among the prison population simply test those criminals actually caught, which might be because they failed to plan the crimes properly or because they were unable to resist interrogation techniques and admitted their crimes. If their intelligence is poor, they are also less likely to be deterred. Topic. Other medical factors. Testosterone and adrenaline have been associated with aggression and violence, and the arousal and excited state associated with them. The excessive consumption of alcohol can lower blood sugar levels and lead to aggressiveness, and the use of chemicals in foods and drinks has been associated with hyperactivity and some criminal behavior. Topic. Psychological positivism Sigmund Freud divided the personality into the id, the primitive biological drives, the superego, the internalized values, and the ego, memory, perception, and cognition. He proposed that criminal behavior is either the result of mental illness or a weak conscience. John Bowlby proposed an attachment theory in which maternal deprivation was a factor that might lead to delinquency. This has been discounted in favor of general privation Michael Rudder, 1981, or broken homes Gluck, 1950, in which absentee or uncaring parents tend to produce badly behaved children. Hans Eysenck 1987, stated that, certain types of personality may be more prone to react with antisocial or criminal behavior to environmental factors of one kind or another. He proposed three dimensions of personality, introversion, extroversion, neuroticism, and psychoticism. For these purposes, personality is the settled framework of reference within which a person addresses the current situation and decides how to behave. 
Some traits will be dominant at times and then in a balanced relationship to other traits, but each person's traits will be reasonably stable and predictable see Marshall, 1990 and Seidman, 1994. Hence, once conditioned into a criminal lifestyle, the relevant personality traits are likely to persist until a countervailing conditioning force re-establishes normal social inhibitions. Some forms of criminal behavior such as sexual offenses, have been medicalized with treatment offered alongside punishment. Topic social positivism In general terms, positivism rejected the classical theory's reliance on free will and sought to identify positive causes that determined the propensity for criminal behavior. Rather than biological or psychological causes, this branch of the school identifies society as the cause. Hence, environmental criminology and other sub-schools study the spatial distribution of crimes and offenders see Adolf Quetelet, who discovered that crimes rates are relatively constant, and the Chicago School which, under the leadership of Robert E. Park, viewed the city as a form of superorganism, zoned into areas engaged in a continuous process of invasion, dominance, and succession. Meanwhile, Emile Durkheim identified society as a social phenomenon, external to individuals, with crime a normal part of a healthy society. Deviancy was nothing more than boundary setting, pushing to determine the current limits of morality and acceptability. Topic references Goring, Charles, 1913. The English Convict, A Statistical Study. London, HMSO. Houghton, Ernest A. The American Criminal Marshal, W. L., Laws, D. R. and Barbary, H. E. E. D. S., 1990. Handbook of Sexual Assault, Issues, Theories, and Treatment of the Offender, New York, New York, Plenum Press. Seidman, B. T., Marshall, W. L., Hudson, S., and Robertson, P. J. An Examination of Intimacy and Loneliness in Sex Offenders. Journal of Interpersonal Violence, 9, 518-534.